Did I get too loud? <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit hoarse again this morning, guys. I don't even know why. And okay, I have a little bit of hat hair today. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I hope you are all well. My name is Mary. This is Wow Crochet. And we are doing our very first, even though it's part two, our very first live de-stashing giveaway. <laughs> I hope everyone is well. Ooh, I am puffed out already this morning. I've been running around all morning preparing bags for now, today. And I'm going to have to get a drink. And I have stuff everywhere. See all the packs, they're everywhere. Give me one second, guys. Let me have a drink. Cheers, everyone. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And there we go. Nice. It's cleared the throat. Hello, Jodie. I hope you are well. Ah. <laughs> I hope everyone is well today. Guys, oh, wow. I've been busy this week. I've been busy. Hello, Angela, ghost hacker. Hello, Luna Moon. Hi, I hope you are well. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, Karen. Hello, hello. Well, guys, it's been a very busy week. Every week's busy week here at Wow Crochet. It's always busy. This week, as you can see, lots of my stash is missing. Lots of my stash. Hello, Kerry Joy. I hope you are well. Um, yeah, lots of the stash is missing and lots have been replaced. You may have seen that in the video yesterday has been replaced. Good morning, Raylene. Um, and I, um, I cleared out a lot of the old stock from there, from the other shelf. You have, you don't get to see very often. It's a big mess, that shelf. You don't want to see. It will get clean one day, I promise. And from a cabinet over there and from boxes in the spare room. Well, it's called a spare room at the moment because my daughter's moved out. She's got a nice little place over in another side of town. Um, and <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me this morning, I have no voice again. What is wrong with this voice of mine that keeps going up and down, up and down? And hello, Mary Jo. Hello, you made it. You made it. She's been missing our lives and saying, I'm going to be there soon, I promise. <laughs> hello, Anne. Good to see you here as well. And so, as you know, and, and Sandy, hello, hello. Welcome. And as you know, I've de-stashed everything. They're all in packs. And I already did one video yesterday, which is a video that will last the whole week. So you've got a whole week to answer those questions. Hello, Connie, morning. Where is this happening? It's uh, 6.13 p.m. for you there, Connie. This is Melbourne, Australia, or in my case, let's just call it Glenroy from Melbourne, Australia. So we are doing a de-stashing live. Hello, Margaret. Is that Margaret? Oh, Margaret, I've left your bag in the other room. Oh, I was supposed to bring the bag. I'll talk to you later about it. Um, I missed it. I'll have to go back. That's okay, Car uh, Kerry, Kerry, we're having one now, and there is one yesterday that you can actually spend the whole week answering those questions. So don't stress about that one. Stick around with this one here right now because this is the one that we are doing the live de stashing. Juanita, the lovely Juanita with a beautiful name. <laughs> Hello, welcome. And <clears throat> so this is the live to be on for the de stashing. Um, well, okay, I'm in Indianapolis. Indiana, USA. USA? Is that USA? US? <laughs> eh? <laughs> well, welcome, Connie. Um, and Katie. Hello, Katie. The lovely Katie's in the house. Katie's in the house. Um, <laughs> so we are here today doing the de-stashing. Yes, thank you, <laughs> Connie. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, it's one of those days. I've got the lucky hat on. You know, naughty me forgot to put the hat on yesterday in yesterday's giveaway. What? Only because I was wearing the lovely beanie that matches this little top, uh, this little poncho right here. Oh, it's very nice. Um, and I forgot to put the hat on. I didn't forget because I was wearing that beanie. But I always put the hat on when I do my giveaways. So I thought I wouldn't wear the beanie today. I'd wear my hat. This is the lucky hat. And I've got hat hair, sorry. But there is a, a little thing I like to do. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. You hold the hat like that, then you go, whoop. Oh, it's upside down. This is the wrong way around. That's the back. Excuse me. Get it right, Mary. Let's try that again. You hold the hat and then you go, whoop. Oh. <laughs> I just thought you are in the future. <laughs> we are in the future, kind of. Um, kind of. Yeah, by a couple of hours. Well, no, not really. 
it's kind of no we're in the past oh gosh i don't know <laughs> i know i put it the wrong way around first okay <laughs> okay i have a hat there now bad luck for me I always miss the giveaways, so yay me, yay, you've just arrived for a giveaway, so that's great. But before our giveaway, in fact, whilst I'm doing my normal live, a lot of these things that happen in the live usually answer the questions to the giveaway. Now, this giveaway is going to be tough, guys, if you don't know me. I love Some of it will be easy. <laughs> some of it will be so easy because it'll be an eye shot or eye view. So when you hear me say that, there may be a question in eye view or not. I haven't decided. <laughs> I've got the questions written up. Uh, you're in the future for us and Americans. Okay. Okay. And Margaret says, it's 10.15 a.m. Saturday morning, Melbourne, Australia time. Absolutely. And I think it's the 16th. It is the 16th of January. Now, guys, before we get started with the giveaway, I just wanted to do a quick mention. Um, there's quite a few projects that we have coming up this week. And I'm going to do that real quickly because in between that may be an accidental answer. Oh, what? That happens occasionally. I'm so naughty. <laughs> so um, this week, don't forget, on Monday we are doing, um, I am doing, <laughs> and you will see it soon, a um, <clears throat> an interview with the lovely Roz from Passioned Flower. And I'm doing that interview this Monday. You may not see it on Monday, obviously, because it's going to take me a little while to edit it and get it up for you. So I'm doing the interview on Monday and then it, you'll probably see it either at the end of this week or early next week. Oh, very exciting. Now, um, I've got the end of the week coming. Oh, hello. Karen's already done a super chat. Oh, thank you so much. Very well received. We'll be purchasing a lot of yarn from the lovely Roz with that. <laughs> uh, Katie, what state are you in? Oh, that's cute. They're talking to each other. Texas Friday, January the 15th, 5 p.m. in Texas. Well, there you go. Okay, so Monday we have our interview with Roz. And on Tuesday we have the Little Love Heart. Ah, it was supposed to be my business day Tuesday. Yes, you did make it. And I haven't started the giveaway, so you've got some time, Daphne. Um, and you're in Texas too. I know everybody's in Texas. Ah. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get this through. I'm not going to get this through, am I? Monday, the interview. Tuesday is usually my business day, but I'm going to pop the um, crochet heart. And Marty, hello, Marty. I hope you are well. <laughs> and uh, Daphne's in Kansas. That's nice. Okay. And Tuesday, we're going to do the little up heart with the double-sided magnet. Ah! And just be wary, that may be one of the questions in Friday's um, video. Oh, whoop. did I let that out? Sorry. Um <laughs> And Wednesday, we're doing our midweek live as we do. And Thursday, we are doing our first, get excited guys, our first crochet swatch for the swatch blanket of 2021. And that also may be one of the answers to Friday's question. Oh, I should zip, I should zip. And Friday, if we get Roz's interview edited by Friday, you will see the interview on Friday. If not, I will pop up another swatch just to fill in that gap on Friday. Um, otherwise, the interview will be Friday or the interview will be the Monday after that. Um, that's a fact. It's quite big. <laughs> uh, we're, in, we're in the snowy weekend here. Oh, are you, Connie? It's all snowy there. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you, my, Melbourne's weather's all over the place. One day it's so hot you can't even breathe. The next day it's freezing cold. Don't go there. Don't go there. Now, what say we do one of the questions? We've got 21 people on. Is that enough for the giveaway? <laughs> Less people to answer all the questions, huh? What say we do one question? I say we do a question before we keep going. <laughs> no, we won't. We'll just show you one more. I'm so naughty. Uh, it's fine. Very hot. In, uh, is it? I mean, with, is that um, WA as in Western Australia, in Melbourne, uh, in Australia? Is that what you mean? Or is WA another country? Okay, well, I'm trying to get something. I'm trying to get something. Uh, sounds like what they say about uh, the Midwest, if you don't like the weather. I know, right? Just wait a minute. That's the question we say. Oh, Washington. Ah. Um, hello, Kaz. I hope you were well. We're just about to ask the first question. Uh, West Aussie. <laughs> You're a West Aussie. That's cute. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, Washington. Uh, you're saying Washington, she's saying West Aussie, you're saying Washington, USA, uh, Mary Jo's in Washington, USA, 
And Katie says, hi, Kaz. That's lovely. All right, you know what? Let's just show you one little square of our... I've forgotten the name of it. Sunshine Bright Blanket. My brain is shut down. Oh, I'm throwing it everywhere. Sunshine Bright Blanket. This is one of our squares that we are up to. I'm up to about square number 21 or something. And I believe we are doing... 56 squares all together and that may also be one of the answers to Friday's questions. What? Zip it Mary, you're getting yourself into trouble. <laughs> it's so pretty, I know, I can't wait to do the blanket, it's going to be gorgeous. Um, hello from J uh, Jody. Jody. hello Jody. hello, hello. All right, so what say we start with... Pack number one. I've moved this pack and I guarantee you everything's going to fall. I can see pack five sitting on the edge. Now, I only got eight packs wrapped in time for today. I did ten packs for yesterday's video, uh, but I didn't get a lot of time to wrap today. I was socialising last night. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I'm allowed to do that occasionally. Okay. And Kerry says, joining will be hard for me. Ah, oh, we'll work it out. I'm going to do an easy join. Uh, I'm fine from Seattle. Ah, oh, Seattle wash area. Seattle wash area. Is that right? Seattle wash area. Seattle is my favourite city, says Connie. Ah, and Carrie Ker Ker says cool sunburst granny square. That's correct. It is a sunburst granny square and the blanket we are making is called the sunshine bright blanket. Why? Oh, it's just the name I gave it. <laughs> It's nothing fancy. So the name I gave it. Now, guys, we're going to start by doing the first pack. Here's our first pack. Ooh. Now, first question's a little bit difficult if you are new to the channel. Um, and this is all about fast fingers, yeah? If you are not new and you are a regular, you will know this answer, okay? So the first question is, are you ready for question and pack number one? I'm going to grab my pen so the person who answers, I'll write it down. Are you ready? Hello, Katie. <laughs> Hello, Katie. Katie, get ready. I'm going to be answering the first, uh, asking, not answering. I can't answer the question. I'm the questionnaire. <laughs> All right, we're ready. What? Don't get excited yet. That's not the answer. <laughs> I'm naughty or what? Okay. On the channel, when I'm crocheting tutorials, this is a tricky one if you don't know me, but you might get it right. I use quite a large range of yarn. However, I do have a tendency to use more of one particular yarn. What is the name of that yarn that I use? Does anybody out of all my subscribers know that? Now, I have a lot of subscribers. Some of them are regulars and someone says Marvel. No. Ah, Kaz. Kaz has been. Oh, Kaz got in first. Bendigo Woolen Mills. Kaz is the winner. <laughs> Everybody's saying it, but Kaz got in first. <laughs> oh, Kaz, I have to go back. Hello, Richard, by the way. <laughs> Kaz, Aussie Yarnaholic, let's put that down. Oh, everyone's talking. Oh, someone said Plaquitin. Karen says Plaquitin. I have used quite a large range of Plaquitin, but Bendigo Woolen Mills is the one. <laughs> Kaz has got it right. Oh, I've forgotten the rest of it. Kaz from where? <laughs> There's too many people. Uh, Kaz, Aussie Yarnaholic, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> everyone most people guessed it right some of you guessed Clarketon and some of you guessed some of the other yarns which is fine because I do use other yarns and after Bendigo Clarketon is that actual the one I like to use a lot so congratulations Kaz you are the winner to number one and you might hear bags falling <laughs> because I don't have a lot of room here <laughs> just throw them on the floor <laughs> You don't need any more yarn, Karen says. You might win, though. Well, what are you going to do if you win? Hello, Denise. I hope you're well. Well, pack number one has already gone, guys. <laughs> All of Karen's eyes, says Karen. <laughs> See, this is why I love our community. It's actually fantastic. But you know what? Don't stress. If you don't win any of these prizes today, guys, I still have... The video on that I uploaded yesterday, part one of our giveaway, it's got a whole week to answer those questions. And you can answer all 10 questions. You only get to win once. So Kaz, out of this video, you can't win any more. I do apologise. But that, that's a good package anyway. You can't go wrong. Hello from Scotland. Fiona, hello. Um, and Karen says she'll use it as insulation. <laughs> that's classic. Oh, 
oh, Karen, you always never seem to have It's these two amazing. I'm going to have the giggles now. Well, it's good because I was feeling a little bit off this morning. I was kind of a little bit, oh, spinning around the room kind of thing. But I'm feeling much better now. So let's get, you know what? I'm going to do question number two straight away and then we'll hold out a little bit, right? So question number two. Now, this shouldn't be too tricky because, you know, it may just be an eye shot. So you have to do fast fingers and I will settle with just the one word you don't have it's only one word anyway all right so are we ready <laughs> last year we created something <laughs> and I need to know the color of that something okay so get ready with the fast fingers what is the color of the v-stitch vest that we created last year does anyone know <laughs> v-stitch vest <laughs> not guy blue who said blue Raylene <laughs> Raylene first in, everybody else saying blue, white, blue. It was blue, Raylene was first in. Raylene, I'm going to pop your name down. I'm going to forget. So let me, <laughs> let me pop your name down here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, hello, creations by Yankee. Christina Anderson, hello, Christina. I know, you were all right. It is blue. <laughs> it's in eye shot. Am I naughty or what? <laughs> So I said some of the questions will be easy and some of them will be hard. Oh, wait, did I, I didn't even show you number two. Did I show you number two? There's number two. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later about what we do with names and, and addresses. Don't do anything now. Don't put your stuff private. I mean public. Don't put your address or phone numbers or anything private. I mean public. Make sure we talk later privately via messenger or something. <laughs> Hello, Karen. I, I'm missing everybody. Hello, Jane. Hello. I'm missing everyone coming in. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's just do number three. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Okay, number three. Pack number three. Are we ready? Now, this one, you must be a regular to know this, or you must have watched this one particular video. It was a very popular video. So let's just say, Last year, hang on, let me read. I have to read the question to myself. It's a big one. Okay. <laughs> well, they're still going, Karen. We've still got many prizes left. So you've got plenty of chances to win, okay? This is only question number three. Now we've got eight prizes. So you've got another five questions to go. Oh, after this one, four more. All right. So funny video last year. I did one funny video last year that I made a special strawberry drink in it do we know what funny video that was <laughs> halloween denise got in first well done denise <laughs> denise oh, or denise who sorry denise hoffman that's it denise was in first denise i'm gonna write this name down because i'll forget later <laughs> don't make me forget hoffman all right we got <laughs> she's fast fingers or what denise Hey, you are, are you one of those touch typers? <laughs> oh, don't stress, Kerry. If you don't win here today, like I said, tomorrow we... Um, tomorrow. Let's try yesterday. Yesterday I uploaded uh, 10 questions, actually, with 10 packs. And you've had a whole week to answer. So you still have an opportunity to answer those questions and win on that one as well as win with the next Four prizes guys thank you so much for coming in today it's um it's very overwhelming that we have such a uh hand to put down my had hand to put down my i don't know what that means uh denise you'll have to explain that to me um yeah you've got plenty of opportunities to win and and the reason i did it like this and not did three because i usually do three big giveaways and i thought you know what for the de-stashing because this is <laughs> wine katie says <laughs> what's going on over there <laughs> there's a party i wasn't invited to um i usually do three large ones and i thought you know what it's a de-stashing giveaway so this is yarn that i've had in my stock for quite some time um a lot of them are probably uh the dye lots are no well they're no longer there you know they've got new dye lots or they've got new range or whatever um i've got to run if you're still on in half hour i'll be back i will be i don't know how long the um giveaways will go for though and how did the gift of the blanket booties and beanie go? I'll talk to you about that in a minute, Juanita. Um, 
And don't forget, Jody says. <laughs> All right, Juanita, the gift with the baby um, for the baby blanket and booties. It did go well, but when the fella came, I said to him, look, I wasn't really happy. I washed the blanket. Oh, when did I wash it? I washed the, the blanket before the border went on. And yesterday morning, I thought, oh, my gosh, I didn't wash it. So I'll just spritz it a little bit. You know, when you, I don't know if you've ever seen spritzing, you spray the edges a little bit and then I blocked it down. And I just wasn't happy because it wasn't, the edges weren't soft. Isn't that sound, it sounds weird. So to me, I wasn't happy in myself. So when he came, he said to me, look, if you want to wash it, you can. Oh, he says, I'll, I'll take it home and wash it and toss it in the washing machine. I said, no, 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 no. It's not going in the washing machine. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I said to him, I will drop it off to him on Monday, Sunday or Monday, after I've really washed it with a nice, I'm so fussy, I know, with a nice um, baby wool wash. And I'm going to pin it down nice and softly on the blocking mats again. So when you take it off, it's all soft. Because at the moment, only the inside is soft, but the edges weren't because I forgot to wash it. So I just pinned it down with a spritz of water. And a lot of people said you can do it that way. You can block your work that way, and it's great. Um, but I wasn't happy. You know when you're not happy with yourself? I was not happy at all. Now, what say we get on with question number three? So pack number three. He did like it, Margaret. He did. Um, did he? Yes, he did like it. He loved them, especially loved the booties. Um, but I, I did tell him I was very fussy and didn't want him to pop that blanket in the washing machine. <laughs> So I thought, no, 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 it's not going in the wash. I'm so fussy when it comes to that. Look, once the customer has it, if they want to put it in the washing machine, that's fine. Um, but me personally, no. Uh, this is question five. No, it's question four, honey. Question four. I haven't done question four yet. So pack number four. Pack number four is... Ah, this is also something you may need to have known me for a while. So this is a bit of a tough question. Uh, didn't Denise win? No, she won question three. She won question three. Yes, it's question four. Okay, are we ready? <clears throat> so you may need to know me very well. I'll settle for two answers here. So if you don't know the first part, it's okay to answer on the second part, okay? It's just one question, but there may be a two-answer thing to it. Um, Lacey, I was looking for the V-stitch vest. Is there a different title for the video? Um, I think it's called the V-Stitch Top. Uh, no, hang on. This is a uh, V-Stitch or... Yes, I think it's called the V-Stitch Top. Um, if you want, I can actually leave a link in this live once the live is over. I can't do it while I'm in the middle of the live. But I can leave a link to the top in uh, the description box down below of the live once it's over. All right, question number four is... Mm, are we ready? <laughs> Who... Creates the music for my channel. I'll settle for his name or I'll settle for his title. So who creates the music for my channel? I like what you are wearing. Thank you. I will tell you a bit about that in a minute. Um, someone says, uh, hubby, someone says son. Who said son first? Juanita said son. I will settle for son. I will settle for son. Someone said Michael. I don't know who Michael is, but he, I'm sure he's nice. Um, son. I will settle for son. My son's name is Andrew. Juanita. I will better go and get your name properly because I don't know. I just want to make sure. Juanita McDuckmerk. Oh, dear. I've lost you. Oh, Juanita. I'll find it. <laughs> give me give me a minute. I'll find it. Juanita McDade. Is that right? I'll talk to you later about that. Okay. But it's Juanita, the lovely name that I love so much. <laughs> oh, dear, McDade. And I will talk to you later about how you receive your prize. And Katie says, but, 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 but. <laughs> and, and my son's name is Andrew. So I would have settled for Andrew or my son. So there you go. Okay, so what say we go straight on to question five? Do we want to do that? Thanks for the win. That's okay. I'll talk to you about how we get our prize. Uh, Shirley says, uh, new to the channel from Marietta, GA USA. Welcome, Shirley. Lovely to have you here. Um, and um, Kerry says, Andrew, a little late, but it's okay, Kerry. I know it's hard on the lives to get in real fast. I, I, I agree. That's the reason why I did two days worth of giveaways. So quickest finger on the lives 
And on the day yesterday, you had a whole week to answer some questions so you can take your time. And you can go back and edit your work if you find that one of the answers is wrong and you hear in this live um, some of the answers and you think, oh, wait a minute, I didn't put that down. It's not that I'll mention it in the live or anything. So you can change your answers on yesterday's video. You've got a whole week till Friday the, what is it, 22nd, I think it was. I can't remember Friday's date. But you've got a whole week to answer, so that's good. Oh, no, no, you've got a whole week to answer Fridays. Don't say that. We still have plenty more to go. And I'm getting straight on to question number five. Why? Because I can. Let's do it. Question number five. Now I'm going to pop this bag down real quickly because the bag is ripping as we speak. <laughs> it's ripping as we speak. Now, uh, that, just a quick one before I do question five. Oh, I've got hair in my mouth. Hello. It's all falling out all over the place. Hello, Paula. You still have four opportunities or three. I can't even remember now <laughs> to win some giveaway. <laughs> Hi, Franco. You made it. You've got still got some time to win some of the questions. We're up to number five, and I'm about to ask question number five right now. So fast fingers. Let's go. Oh, no, there was something I was supposed to say. Oh, gosh. Oh, Katie, yes, my son, but that was a long time ago. Um, hello, Angela. Hello, hello. Okay, question number five. I can't remember what I was supposed to say. Oh, yes, no, I still can't remember what I was supposed to say. So distracted today. Question number five. Lucky I'm writing your names down here because I'll probably forget. Oh, I can always look back at the live. It's all right. <laughs> question number five. Hurry up, Mary. Um, um, okay, this one here. You may need to have watched my first video at the beginning of the, uh, well, not the beginning of the year. It was actually on Thursday. I am doing, as you know, a de-stashing for the beginning of the year, yes? I've decided to do another de-stashing this year. During the year, what month did I say I would be doing the de-stashing in? Does, does anyone know? This is a tricky question because you may have to have watched our um video oh richard's getting richard's in first richard has said july well done richard oh richard i can't i know i know who you are because you're the only richard on the channel but i'm thinking i forgot your last name richard i sure won't mess this up haven't i oh dear oh richard you'll have to remind me later <laughs> oh here we go here we go i've got it richard newcomb okay all right, I've got, I've got it. It's all good. <laughs> and I can contact you later or you can contact me either on Messenger, on Facebook. Richard, that's mine, Franka says. <laughs> you guys are naughty. I tell you, you're so naughty. Someone said till December, someone said July. It was July. Richard was fastest finger. Again, guys, don't stress. It's still yesterday's giveaway to win. <laughs> I'm writing them all down for you. Oh, thank you, Margaret. I'm actually writing them down myself. <laughs> and Margaret, I will talk to you about your bag. <laughs> and you're welcome, Richard. So we'll talk later about that and how you're going to receive your prize. So there you go. That was prize number six, wasn't it? And you should see these bags. They are all falling downwards. <laughs> They're dropping everywhere. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get on with number six. Yes, shall we do number six? Uh, my top. This top right here. Oh, you mean this one or the one on there? They're both here on um, our channel. Uh, that top, they have playlists if that helps you. Yeah, they have playlists. So this one here is called the Rustaman Vibrations Poncho. So you can actually see a playlist on this on our channel. <clears throat> yes, you can see the playlist to this poncho on the channel. Um, I made this one with cotton. Uh, some of our subscribers made them with wool and that's fine too. Just make sure, because one subscriber made it with a number four yarn or a number eight or a number ten ply. But here in Australia, it's number eight. I'm sorry. I use an eight ply yarn, so it's a number three overseas. So if you're overseas, it's a number three. If you're in UK, it's um, DK, I think it is. But make sure you use the right yarn, because if you use the next size up, the poncho is really big. Okay? Just be weary of that. Now, what are we up to? Question number six. Question number six, pack number six, uh, lose everything you do. <laughs> Love everything you do, you say. Oh, thanks, Franca. And Kerry's in Melbourne. Welcome, Kerry from Melbourne. One of my sisters or my cousins or my aunts or my uncles. No, you're not. 
I don't know who you are, but <laughs> welcome anyway. <laughs> All right. So number six, the question is, um, oh, I can't remember now. Oh, actually, this is this is actually a good question because I answered this at the beginning of the oh, this live. Oh, fast fingers first. Oh. <laughs> now you can either give me the name of this company or you can give the lady's name. And it doesn't matter how you spell it because I spelt it wrong the first time I, <laughs> I did it. And actually the lady's name is, I used, I haven't even asked the question, Katie, but you've already won. <laughs> the question was, Katie, the question was, what is the name of the lady or the company that I'll be interviewing on Monday? <laughs> and it's Roz from Fashion Flower. And Katie's already got it. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> was this Margaret? <laughs> All right, Katie, I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything next time I should just answer the question. You're very naughty. <laughs> All right, Katie, I'll give you that one. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm naughty too. I never should have said I'm going to zip it. <laughs> Not fair. I know. We could, we could work something else in the future, Mary. <laughs> She's very naughty. You know what? I'll keep my mouth shut. I won't say anything. <laughs> You know what? To make things good, let's just do number seven. <laughs> do number seven. Ta -da! <laughs> naughty corner. Get in the naughty corner. <laughs> Katie's in the naughty corner. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep going. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> well, this one um, again. You may have to be a regular to know this. However, it wasn't that long ago. It was only a few weeks ago. And it happens once a year here at Wow Crochet. Who was subscriber of the year last year? And the person cannot answer for themselves. <laughs> Who was subscriber of the year 2020 for here at Wow Crochet? And Franca says, Liz. Liz has, I mean, Franca's, <laughs> oh, she's right. And I would have accepted just Liz. So, Franca, you are right. So, Franca has one question number seven. Franco, you fast fingers, fast finger girl. <laughs> Everybody got it right, by the way. Angela got it right. Karen, you got it right. But the winner was uh, Franco because she's fast fingers. <laughs> fast fingers. Okay. Now, this is a question that actually, Angela, you might know the answer to this one. And I say this because between the pair of us, um, it was something we both liked a lot. Now, I'm not going to give away the answer to this one. I'm just going to tell you the question and, um, and we can see how we go. Are you ready? The question is, <laughs> last year, we made a lot of items, right? We made blankets. We made all sorts of things. And I made even the um, kaleidoscope blanket. I've made the, um, num, 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 the hexagon blanket. I made tops. I made everything. Lots of little things. Big things, little things. What was my favourite item of the year last year that I made? No matter what else I made, all this fancy gear that we made, what was my favourite item of the year that we made? Someone says pillow. Mm, nice try. Hat tea cosy. Who said tea cosy? Jody, man. Jody, you have won the tea cosy. You won. I'm not tea cosy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won the parcel. Now, I forgot to pick this parcel up. It was the tea cosy by Jody, man. Let me, let me show you that. Did I pick it up and show you? I hope I did. If I didn't, I'll show you now. Because it was our last, uh, because it was our last pack, it's a lot bigger than the rest. So that's it. That is the end of the giveaway. <laughs> that's the end of the live giveaway, guys. But don't stress, if you did not win, we still have the video giveaway, which was happening yesterday. Well, congratulations, by the way, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> now, before you all disappear and run off, just quickly, those of you who did win, please message me privately on either Facebook Messenger or on um, Instagram. And if, if you don't have any of these accounts and you would like to message me somewhere else, you can also message me on um, Etsy or madeit.com.au. So there you go. All right. Now, before we go, I'm missing all of this. <clears throat> um, yes. Uh, well done, winners. Thank you so much, Marty. Thank you to everyone who says lovely things to our subscribers. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that word means, Karen. You're going to have to elaborate. 
um, I did it for the Tim Tams. <laughs> I forgot to mention that all Tim Tams are coming with every pack. I think I mentioned yesterday. Uh, you have my details. I do, Franca. Uh, thanks uh, for those. Okay, congratulations to the winners. Uh, I couldn't get the tea cosy out. That's all right, Angela. I left it in eyes view so that a lot of our answers you will see are quite simple. Some of them were difficult, like the one with my son. That was rather difficult. Uh, whereas my Tim Tams, Mary. <laughs> oh, Karen, you know what? You still have a chance in, yes, in yesterday's video. Don't forget, make sure you answer those questions from yesterday's video. And if by any chance you have watched the live today and I've said something about one of the answers in yesterday's video and you have got it wrong, go back and edit it. You've got till Friday to change any answers that may be wrong. So if not, and you're happy with the answers you got, that's fine too, right? Um, but make sure you answer all the questions because that gives you more opportunities to win. If you don't win on question two, if you don't win on question five, if you don't win on question whatever, that gives you more opportunities. The video questions are great. I know, look, I tell you what I like to do with those questions. I like to keep them personally orientated for a while in the future i might make them crochet related so i might say something about like a double crochet or a single crochet and how to do that to, but for now while everybody's still new it's a little bit hard to ask them those kind of questions if i keep them personally and i know everyone's watching our channel then i know that um you can answer them quite simply <clears throat> <laughs> everyone wants, look everyone wants a tim tams the best part is you all get a packet of tim tams who the winners do that is i uh, couldn't guess most of those too much newbie oh it doesn't matter we can work something out in the future uh too much newbie haha -ha. uh have to swat up next time <laughs> i have to give yesterday's yeah do give yesterday's a go a lot of the answers again from yesterday's are me accidentally bloop, burning it out so you will find all of the answers in these giveaways will be in this week's videos. I've made it so that any newbies that came along will know these answers. You just have to watch this week's videos to know the answers to yesterday's videos, uh, yesterday's questions. I'll go watch yesterday's. Yep, have fun with yesterday's. That's great. Um, Mary, you forgot, you forget to stick Tim Tams when I won several months ago. <laughs> Is that right? I don't think I was doing Tim Tams in the old days. I only started doing Tim Tams. <laughs> I'll just see if I can get away with that. Look, honestly, I have only just started doing Tim Tams. Oh, I think, oh, it's been a while now. Um, I can't even remember when I started. It wasn't that long. Um, we own, oh, I know. Um, pack will arrive. I know. I know, right. Um, look, hopefully, and I'm hoping you guys aren't too far from me, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I will be pack, uh, packing. I will be posting these packs out this week they will be going because there's eight they'll be going two every day because monday i'm out doing my live i'm live let's not try live let's try interview wake up mary um monday i'll be out doing the interview so i won't be able to get to the post office so i'll be pa posting two packs out every day it's a little bit hard for me to post all of them out at once i'll be standing in the post office for hours and they give me funny looks the people on the counter say, what's wrong with that lady over there? She's there standing around for hours. Um, there are a couple of people I know that are Australian, so I can actually deliver them if they like, but it's entirely up to them or they can pick up or we can meet at a coffee place somewhere. Ah, oh, maybe crochet a little bit. <laughs> if you are in Melbourne, we can organise something. If you are overseas, they will come. Uh, depends on how far you are, they will come. You're looking between three weeks and three months because I don't know where you are so it depends on the situation of your postal area but you will get them oh, and you'll get a packet of tin pans as well oh, in every pack of giveaway and again don't stress because you know what else oh dear we're up to 9,700 subscribers not that I'm complaining <laughs> when we hit the 10,000 mark that's gonna be a massive giveaway. That's not very far off now. <laughs> so, well, this hat has dropped me up the wall. So hot of it. Um, <laughs> and so we'll be able to do a massive giveaway once again. Uh, you'll most well make sure Mary sends them to you. <laughs> <Give it over. laughs> 
<laughs> now I will be giving away the proper packs with the proper pack of Tim Tams in <laughs> to each person who has won today. <laughs> Just one pack each. <laughs> but guys, again, don't feel downhearted because we do have yesterday's video up and running. Now, sadly, and here's a heads up, for those of you who have won today, cannot win anything on yesterday's video. You can only win once. So, yeah, that was, I'm sure I mentioned that in the video yesterday. Where did you, your Karen cakes go, Mary? Mm, maybe they're in one of the packs. Maybe they're in two of the packs. Maybe they weren't the only Karen cakes I had either. Or what? Who's <laughs> uh, doing the giveaway? Um, having to do the post office thing too. Look, I have to tell you, I don't like doing the post office. Look, I don't mind them at the post office sometimes. <laughs> but they look at me funny. I'm like, What's wrong with you again? You're giving stuff away. Um, <laughs> did say she wants me to have the Tim Sam. Oh, forget it. Raylene's getting her own Tim Tam. Get over yourself. <laughs> uh, if you just... Hi, I just found you. Oh, Marlene, you've come in a little bit late, but that's fine. Welcome, by the way. Welcome. Um, we do. We have a lot of fun here in uh, on our channel. Sometimes with some people get naughty and they end up in the naughty corner because that's what happens to naughty people on our lives. <laughs> but they're not allowed to touch any yarn. <laughs> uh, perfectly happy to forego the other video. <laughs> I think Tim Tams are like, Kit Kats, yes. <laughs> They're very tasty. They're very nice. He'll like them. <laughs> uh, welcome, Marley. It is very fun. Look, uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes I get a little stressed and a little tired, so I don't get all the projects out that we say, but eventually they come out slowly, slowly, and we do get the projects out. Uh, Tim Tams are like penguins, but better. Oh. <laughs> Stop that, Franklin. You're very naughty. Um so yeah, welcome to all the newbies today and welcome to our regulars who come on very often and welcome to those like Angela who have been around for a very long time. And uh, Angela was one of our very first few people here at Well wow Crochet. There's quite a few of you, but Angela was one of the very first few. And um, okay, and, uh, and so Angela, <laughs> Angela has been... Angela's actually won something as well. She won something in, oh, I think it was the first year. Yes, she won, oh gosh, I can't even remember. It was like a mid-year mid subscriber thing she won. I can't even remember, but Angela did win something. And um, and so did quite a lot of our subscribers here that you see there. 2018, thank you, Angela. <laughs> um, was that long? Has it been that long? <laughs> oh my gosh. Katie, any purple yarn, says Franka. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Angela's been around for a very long time So we're very lucky to have some of our people here at Well Crochet Some of our subscribers who have been around for a very long time And I appreciate all of those who have stuck by me And I appreciate all the newbies that have joined us as well So thank you so much We do have a lot of fun Sometimes we have too much fun and we get into a lot of trouble So it happens Okay, Tim Tams are choc biscuits with choc cream. Oh, now I'm not even allowed to listen to it, let alone eat it. And coated in choc. They're so yummy. Oh, my gosh. You know, maybe when I do the answers to uh, these questions on Friday that we just did, next Friday when I do the uh, answer video, maybe we'll do a Tim Tam slam on that. If anyone wants to know what a Tim Tam slam is, guess what a Tim Tam slam is. Thank you, Karen. A Tim Tam Slam is, the biscuits are made, obviously looks like a rectangle. You bite one corner off and then you bite the opposite corner like the diagonal corner, right? And then you pop it in your coffee and you drink your coffee through the Tim Tam. <sighs> it's to die for. So those of you who have won overseas today, and I think there's a few of you now, it's going to be posting maniac this week. Um, thank you so much. Frank has done a super chat. Thank you. Oh, look at that. She's got the uh, super guy flying. Is that your Tim Tam packs flying to the UK? I believe you're from. I see 10 pounds there. So the UK. <laughs> uh, I tried a Tim Tam slam earlier this week. Did you really, Katie? So yes, if you are a big chocoholic, <laughs> if you are a big chocoholic, uh, the Tim Tam Slam is a lot of fun. And I, 
because of my diet, I haven't been having them. <laughs> I can really do with some Tim Tams, but <laughs> there's not even real tears there. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, the diet I broke yesterday, oh, I had a couple of glasses, a little, little glasses though, of wine. Oh, I broke it. Uh, do they come in dark? They do. They come in dark chocolate as well. They come in different flavours now. That's a, a new thing they've been doing lately. They used to only be in the natural chocolate and it was the same. It's called, you know, the normal flavour. And now they come in different flavours. So maybe I should try different flavours. Um, looking for turquoise cake. Oh, I've lost. I've lost. I've lost. I've lost. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, we're all talking about how, what we want. Anita says, once you've tried Tim Tam Slam, you never go back. <laughs> Oh, Juanita, you're as naughty as I am. Uh, <laughs> you're going to fit in well here. <laughs> oh, Tim Tams come in a variety of flavours now. I know, right? They do. Uh, light ones. <laughs> uh, look on Amazon, someone says. Okay. Uh, what diet are you on? I'll talk to you in a minute, Kerry. Uh, and expensive on Amazon. Look, um, Kerry, the diet I am on is the CSIRO diet uh, here in Melbourne. It's a lot of work. You have to work. You have to work for it. it. Look, it's like any diet, really. You have to cut up all your veggies. You have to add more veggies than anything else. You have to eat a lot. It actually is a lot of food. And it's actually, uh, when I say a lot of food, I don't snack during the day because it's a lot of food. So it does fill you up. Uh, you have to exercise if you want it to work. It's like anything. And well, I have to admit, the past week and a half, no exercise. None whatsoever. So mm. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling tomorrow's weigh-in day is not going to be a very good thing. And I usually do weigh-ins every Sunday. I don't know. They give you the time and the day that they need you to weigh in. And I do mine every Sunday. And mm, this Sunday is not going to be good. I also had with the wine yesterday, I had uh, cheesels. If you're an Aussie, you know what cheesels are. It's not good. Do I tell them? Yeah, I have to tell them. I'm such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm missing all the chat. Uh, can I do a Tim Tam slam with the wine? <laughs> oh, Denise, I don't, I've never tried it with wine. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. I um, <laughs> already found some thing for Kiki. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> oh, where'd you find that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, everybody is cheeky on this channel. I love it. I love it. Um, I bet you got some exercise. Oh, look, I did. There is one exercise I did yesterday. It was quite a bit of exercise. I'll tell you what I did. Uh, Tim, Tim, red wine. <laughs> no, what happened was it's not so much the packing. It was I had a lot of stuff in boxes. So I'm bringing the boxes into uh, the lounge and then taking them back when I was taking stuff out. So I was running up and down. You know what? I'm going to put that down as exercise. I did that, not kidding, probably for an hour, in and out of rooms, in and out, in and out. So mm, I think I got my exercise in. Uh, CSIRO, yeah, it's, it's okay, the diet. It's, it's like any diet. You really have to put in the effort. And this week was no effort. I did none whatsoever. No exercise. I'm too scared to weigh myself tomorrow. Oh, my God. Kahlua in coffee and tea. <laughs> that is exercise it was a lot in actual fact some of those tubs were really heavy because i had you know what especially with the um some of the uh da, 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 what do you call it yarn that i had here that you said before <sighs> now you're talking carrie you guys are naughty i have kerry i lost uh in the first ooh, the first six weeks i did lose about five and something kilos uh then i put a little bit on because of christmas and my birthday was in there as well. So I ate. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm back on I'm back on again. And in fact, I booked uh, my 12-week program is up, I think, this week or next week. Um, I think at the end of this week. It might be the end of next week. I can't remember. Um, and I booked, oh, I've got an itchy head now. I don't, I don't usually wear hats. Uh, and I booked another 12 weeks. So I'm, I'm going to be doing some more. Thank you, Angela. I did lose a lot. Um but I still want to lose some more. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So, guys, what we want to do now, this just quickly let you explain. 
let you, let me explain to you what we're doing this week. This week we are doing the interview with the lovely Roz from Passion Flower. <laughs> and we are doing the Love Heart on Tuesday with the uh, double-sided magnet so that we can stick it on our fridges or somewhere where we can stick a magnet. Um, and one Wednesday we are doing our live, but that just will be a normal live. It won't be like one of these fancy lives. <laughs> and on Thursday we are doing we are doing one swatch for the Swatch Blanket of the Year 2021. May that may be an answer to one of our questions yesterday. Uh, what's Tim Tam, please? Oh, I'll tell you in a minute, Connie. Connie, is it? Hello, Connie, by the way. We're quite a busy show. <laughs> and on Friday, if I get the interview edited in time, you will get the interview from Roz, which is fantastic. Or uh, if I don't get it edited in time, you'll get that the Monday after and you'll get another swatch on Friday, a Tim Tam is a yummy chocolate biscuit we have here in Melbourne, Australia. It's very, very nice. Um, and again, is self-care. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's a chocolate cookie with chocolate filling covered in chocolate, says Katie. <laughs> no, Teresa's not on today. Oh, I know we're missing her. Oh, she must have heard it was my giveaway. <laughs> she can't win. Because she's family, she's not allowed to enter. It doesn't matter because I give her yarn anyway. Speaking of yarn, Margaret, I forgot to get the bag of yarn out. I will pop that bag of yarn on Wednesdays. Well, I won't because I'll be giving it to you Tuesday, won't I? <laughs> We've already organised to give it. Look, the bag of yarn, let me explain, Margaret. Margaret, um, uh, I've given Margaret a bag of yarn, massive bag. It's like this. This is how big it is for the Salvation Army. And that is my donation this year um, to an, a, a company that I think needs it. And they're very good, the Salvation Army. They do a lot of work for a lot of people. So I gave a bag of yarn to Frank, to Franca. Let's try to Margaret. Um, and it's supposed to be going to her on uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry, let's try Tuesday. <laughs> Wake up, Mary. And the bag is like this big. So I forgot to bring it. It's in the it's in the other room. Oh, I don't want to leave you to go and get it. Shall I leave you to go and get it? Does anybody want me to leave to go and get that bag? Because I've been willing to do it, but I don't want to leave you sitting here by yourselves. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. Let's just say it's a it's a good size bag of yarn, and a lot of it is acrylic. So see, Paula says no, thank you, no. All right, you might see it next week. You might not. Juanita says yes. <laughs> She wants to see what's going to the salvos. Look, the salvos do a lot of good work. Um, we're very lucky uh, here in Melbourne. I'm, I'm sure they do the same thing overseas as well. Um, we're very lucky here in Melbourne. We have the salvos and quite a lot of smaller companies as well that do lots of work for people who do or who are in need. And so I thought, why not give them to a worldly cause? And that is one that I like to give to. There are other things I like to give to. A lot of times it is a homeless thing for me. I like to give to the homeless. I usually do that through companies. Um, and Katie has done a oh, oh, 14, 15, $15, um, $14 something super chat. Thank you so much. And she says to help cover the all the shipping. Oh, my gosh, Katie, you have no, much, no idea how much shipping costs from here. <laughs> Look, it does cost a lot of money to ship. And I uh, did my calculations beforehand saying if I was to ship 15 overseas, I'm sorry, let's try 18. There were 18 packs. Oh, well, I got 15 in the brain. 18 packs overseas, that would cost me this much and I don't know if I have it. So I'll take a risk. <laughs> so every time, every now and then when you guys do Super Chats, that does help me out a lot. But um, that's those Super Chats I was trying to save up for the yarn. <laughs> Purchasing yarn on the farms, but... You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how it goes or where it goes. It's the end of the day. We're not going. We can't take it with us. Uh, it's so nice of you, Katie. Yeah, thank you very much to anyone who's done super chats today. I know uh, it comes out of your own pockets, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, and again, I do like to give back. So we are going to be purchasing some yarn from the lovely Roz on Monday. Don't tell her. We don't want her to know because we want to see if we can wine and dine her to give us something nice and a good deal. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we will be doing um, some purchases there and that yarn we will be using on the channel for a project, but don't tell her 
because we want her to give us some special deals. Oh, look, I've got fluff everywhere coming up. <laughs> All right, what have I missed? Here we go. I got interrupted by phone call. Another, oh, that's no good. Oh, gosh, that's no good at all. Oh, it's terrible times, aren't they? Well, you can wait online as long as you need it. You can wait. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll do it. It's, it's okay. I already sorted it out. It's no problems. Um, this week's prizes will be going. I know it's terrible news. Terrible news. Sorry to hear that, Mary Jo. I have things settled for you there. Um, and it's so unfair, isn't it? Look, there's nothing we can do much about this except wait and accept um assuming we can find some sort of cure so um you know well wishes to you and the rest of the family over there and friends it's a very difficult time and that's there's nothing we can do guys thank you so much for watching i'm not going to go if you don't want me to we've still got a little time left we've got uh, about five minutes left i'd like to do at least one hour only for the sake that we do an hour yes absolutely connie i agree um, but if there's any questions you would like to ask, if there's anything you would like to discuss about um, the, any projects that are coming up, please do them now. Stay a while. I will stay a little bit longer, not too much though. Um, please do so now. Also, you can also do so after our lives. You can always leave a message in the description box down below. Don't stress um, about anything. And if you want, a lot of people, I do notice this happens often, a lot of people do send me private messages and I can accept that. There are times it takes me a long time to get back to you, so please don't think I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I just don't have the time right now. So I will get back to you eventually. Where do you buy your hooks from, Mary? Okay, that's a good question. I'll talk in a minute, Kerry. Um, so just or any questions you may have, I don't care how you send them, as long as you send them. And Juanita has done a super chat. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much, Juanita. And thank you for your super chat. Oh, uh, Dr. Grant's giving... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, and wish people... That's right. Okay. Could you please PM me? Anne. Anne for... We'll talk. Um, from where? <laughs> from where do you want to be PM'd? From Facebook? Uh, from Instagram? You, you PM me and then I'll PM you back. How's that? at wow crochet wow crochet that's all you need to look for uh the day in the life of me oh that's coming up very soon katie the day in the life of mary look again you you have to have a wicked sense of humor to enjoy that one it's a little bit like the halloween one where it's really weird <laughs> um okay someone says how long have you been crocheting for and how long are you doing tutorials and lives on wow oh that's a tricky question i'll talk to you about that in a minute pauline uh parents are okay me and katie okay me and katie okay 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 <laughs> okay i'll pm you through facebook um always through wow crochet if you can look for wow crochet make sure you pm the right person and don't do the private details until you realize who i am <laughs> i don't want to be sending your private details to anyone um okay okay oh we can sounds right up my alley okay uh kerry asked first question firstly where do i get my crochet hooks from <clears throat> excuse me the soft touch i actually get them from oh my gosh morrison sons i almost forgot morrison sons in melbourne in the city uh they are in if you are in melbourne they are on elizabeth street above the bookstore angus and robertson so they're all in the, the same section there However, I have occasionally ordered online, but I do find it's easier. Hello from Gr Gr oh, hello, uh, Grenada, Mississippi. Hello, Danette, Danette. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, Morris and Sons. They are a company in the city, um, and they actually started, I believe, in oh, they might have started overseas, but they started out in Sydney here in Australia. But they're now in Melbourne. If you are in Melbourne, if you're not in Melbourne. Uh, if you're not in Australia, that is, you might want to check with your local stores or you might want to try purchase them online if you want. Okay. Uh, any turquoise yarn, Katie? I don't know. I've, I've lost the chat. Sorry, guys. Um, I forgot some of the other questions. Spotlight have them as a set for the sold ones. The soft touch? I've never seen the soft touch at Spotlight. Really? Are you talking the clover? I've never seen clover. Thanks, I'm in Melbourne. Well, Kerry, they're actually in Elizabeth Street. Just look up Morrison Sons, Elizabeth Street, and see their dress comes up. 
and I'm there all the time. They don't know me by name, but they know when, when they see my face. Uh, how long have you been crocheting? How long have I been crocheting? Oh, my gosh. Well, I actually started at the age, tender age of five, but my fine motor skills weren't that good. So I was really awkward. And I actually literally remember that was the first time I ever threw the crochet and the hook across the room. The very first time I ever did that. I still occasionally do that when I get angry. <laughs> Don't get in my way when I get angry. Um, but <clears throat> I didn't actually do proper crochet until ooh, eight or nine years old. So let's just say mm, it's quite a long time. I don't want to give away my age. <laughs> 30 something, 40 something years. Oh gosh, it's 40 something years. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm in that era. Oh, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll send you a pic because I use them via Messenger FB. Uh, I learned to chain it at six years old. Oh, that's clever. Oh, wow. That's clever. Uh, Word is spotlight. Oh, hang on. What's that? Uh, we'll stock Knit Pro. Yeah, I don't mind Knit Pro. I'm really a clover. I'm a clover fan. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, wonderful year. I crocheted 300 beanies for Operation Christmas Child. That must be something overseas, Jeanette. Um, we don't do that here. That my preacher's wife. No, obviously we have other places that we donate from here. I learned this. I learned in the. I'm not sure what you mean there, Angela. You've chopped off half of your, um, half of your what you were saying. I'm going to take a drink because my throat is really, it's all this shouting from yesterday's video and today. Plus, I did have visitors yesterday. Oh, we were so naughty. We had a little bit of wine and some snacks. I did have like two pieces of pizza. I'm so naughty this week. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Angela learned in America at the age of four. You're one year ahead of me, Angela. <laughs> ah, it's water, honey. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> I made the first granny square at the age of four. Wow, good, well done, little creek. Uh, 50 years later, I'm working on a kaleidoscope blanket. Oh, I missed that. Full circle, I guess. <laughs> Look, can't go wrong with a kaleidoscope blanket. It is... I love that blanket. I've made so many of them there. Actually, I can't keep up because I made one for the young fella's uh, son to the naughty corner, Mary. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. <laughs> All right, I'll sit in the naughty corner. How's that? Is that ah? Is that far enough? I can't go back any further. <laughs> Thank you, for just too much. <laughs> Not me, nothing but chaining till 15. That's all right, Denise. No, no hurry. No hurry to learn crochet. I learned to knit. Ah, chew. I know. At the age of a three and a half, we're crocheting four. I learned also for me crocheting only 70 years. Only, Paula. Hmm, and are you tired? <laughs> so, yes, Richard, yours truly is sitting in the corner. Ah, it's a dirty job. Someone has to do it, I suppose. <laughs> I was a little bit naughty yesterday. Yes, I was. But you know what? It just means I'm going to have to work extra hard this week to work off what I should have worked off what I ate yesterday, let alone what I should have worked on last week. <laughs> I have to work double, the, double time. You know what I'll do? Straight after the live, I'll pop on a treadmill, all right? Is everybody happy with that? <laughs> well, I have to be happy, but I'm not. Oh, you know what it's like? I get on that treadmill and I sort of... It's funny. I go like this on the treadmill. It's, it's just an absolute true story. I look at it and I think, oh, God. I roll my head, press the button, and think, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Parent but then again, they may have one. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of information. You just want to keep me busy, don't you, Danette? <laughs> I needed a break from the naughty corner. <laughs> I, I do occasionally end up in the naughty corner, not often. <laughs> so, Mary, I don't, I really can't stand. Look, I can't stand <laughs> the exercise. Oh, I missed that. What did you say, Richard? Uh, just saw the post, almost missed the live. Well, I'm glad you made it because you won one of the prizes, Richard. So, well done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so i really don't like exercising so but i think i will do it after this live i better because something's gonna have to someone's gonna have to burn off things <laughs> i'm gonna burn off something <laughs> danette's leaving me novels today about all the things she's done well done danette yes well done uh have you been practicing on your head while crochet <laughs> look
look, I'm not saying anything to that. You never know what happened. I won different Richard. <laughs> different Richard. I won different Richard. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that another Richard? I thought that all the Richards were the same. I thought we only had one Richard here. I could be wrong. Do we have two? I don't know. I thought we only had one. Uh, I think... It... Oh, really? Oh, do we have two Richards? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. I thought you were the same Richard that you always are. Oh, you're a new Richard. Oh, <laughs> that's a classic. I really thought you were the other Richard. Oh, Mary, keep up. It's two Richards. Who knew? <laughs> I think laughing is exercise. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a good exercise on your tummy. Two Richards. Oh, that's so classic. <laughs> well, well done, the second Richard. I don't know which one was the first or second. doesn't matter. We'll just say Richard, Richard. <laughs> the other Richard oh my gosh you've got to love more Richard <laughs> I just realized myself <laughs> I had no idea put you with the ring look it doesn't matter it's good as long as somebody wins I don't care how many Richards win <laughs> we could have had 10 it's like the Katie's and the K and the Kerry's and the Karen's and the Kazas. there's all these K's everywhere uh thank you Paula <laughs> I didn't either how cool I was first <laughs> oh that's clever <laughs> Oh, which one? To fly? <laughs> Franka's very naughty, Richard. Franka, I'm getting out of the corner. You get in there. And don't come out until you're told. <laughs> oh, Franka's in the naughty corner, Richard. <laughs> oh, we'll pop her in there and leave her there for a little while. Till she stops being naughty. Oh, the guys had to have their version of the K overloads. <laughs> yeah, usually we have the K overloads here. <clears throat> well, that was last year. This year, me and my mum made 400 play balls for kids. I was going to make balls, but thank you. That's cute, Danette. It's very nice. Teach you to a lot of work. Um, yeah, hey, naughty corner. Frank, don't touch any yarn. <laughs> oh, come on, Frank, please join me. <laughs> I was a rebel at school. Were you, Angela? I'm, I'm the one from Arkansas. Okay. You know what? I tell you what. I need to get my my last name's correct because I just see the first name and assume you're all the same one. Imagine the Karens, they're all thinking, not that Karen, this Karen. And I'm oh, oops. And you've just done that with a Richard. Not that Richard, this Richard. Well, not me, you. <laughs> so I oh, welcome second Richard. I know you, you've been here before. Oh, you're from the UK. Oh, well, I'll be sending both yours and um, Naughty Girl, Fran Franca, out at the same time, I think, since you're both from the UK. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Well, you know, honestly, I've got something in my eyes. All this fluff. I know where the fluff's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. All that yarn I worked with, I think. Uh, yeah, UK, yeah. Now you can help me reach the top. <laughs> so I've got to find that purple. <laughs> so if you noticed, by the way, guys, if you noticed in yesterday's video, I did my video standing up. Now, I did that, and I like to do that as an an occasion if the lights don't work too well so my face doesn't come out proper <laughs> not that i really want that face too close anyway um so i did that video standing up for the simple fact that i wanted to advertise all that yarn up there what um it's lovely there is it really oh you're so lucky well no it's lovely here too we just i just don't get out much <laughs> i have no life um, yeah, I have no life. I have no life. I work all the time. <clears throat> I should get out more often, shouldn't I? <clears throat> so I wanted to show you this yarn here. Oh, this is going to fall on my head, isn't it? Let me try this one. Oh, I want to get something nice. Oh, actually, some purple yarn. Let's pull some purple yarn out, hey? Oh, I'm waiting for everything to fall on my head. Everything to fall on my head. Probably will too, you know. Um, you're from, yes, we know you're from Coventry. Angela is from Coventry. Now this yarn, the reason I'm getting this yarn out is we're going to be doing uh our um what's the blanket called now i've already forgot the swatch blanket oh wake up mary the swatch blanket of 2021 uh she's handing it right to you frank <laughs> we're gonna be doing it with the spot saver usa yarn now i've not worked with this yarn on the channel before and I've noticed, I've noticed, and lucky I have one, I've noticed it says it's a five millimeter hook. So it's actually a number four overseas. It's a 10 ply here, I'm assuming. 
I'm assuming. It doesn't actually have the ply on it. <clears throat> but the fact that it's number four hook usually means, I'm sorry, let's try number five hook. Get it right, Mary. Usually means that it's a, um, a 10 ply here in Melbourne or a number four overseas. Okay, or a number, I don't know what it is in the UK. It's a thicker yarn than the number three. Then the DK yarn. It's the next next step up. Now it's called Spot Saver USA, so it's very similar to uh, the USA Spot Saver one, I suppose they could call it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And it's 100% acrylic. So if you don't have this yarn, and I say this because I know a lot of people may not. Uh, someone says six millimeter. I think this is a five millimeter. Aaron Wait, Denise says, um, uh, get it on Amazon. Yeah, if you don't have it, you can either get it on Amazon. Or look into your stash and find a number four or an, a number four yarn if you're overseas or an eight ply, uh, sorry, try that again, or a ten ply, I'm so used to saying the eight ply, it's upside down, it is too, or a ten ply here in Melbourne, Australia. Now, that's pretty much it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not doing it all in this one colour, I'm doing each square in this colour. <sighs> so not right today. Each square in different colours. So you can see all the colour range up there. I've got some more on the other side. So I'm doing each square in different colours. And at the end, we're going to find a colour to use as a border. Now, I haven't decided which colour yet, so I better get my act into gear because the first swatch is coming when? <laughs> Thursday. I better know by Thursday. I'm working on your pattern for the tea cosy, but in my colour I've picked. And that's good. That's great, Danette. In fact, I would love to see the outcome. If you want to share it, you can. You don't have to. But if you want to share it, you can head over to Wow Crochet on Facebook once it's complete and pop a pick up in our little pick up, a picture up. I say pick, so I just cut it short. Pop a picture up in our community section of that uh, page so we can see your colors you don't have to but if you want to you can actually share your color combination with us which i love when people share their work um so there you go we will be doing this we will be doing uh the border i don't know whether we'll do the border in a total different color i know i always do cream for borders and i really do i have this habit of putting cream as a border i think i might i know cream does as people say make the rest of your work burst out but i might not do that this time and what I might do is think about colours, uh, put them all in a row and just pick one that I've got two of. I do know I've got two of these purples and they're the same, I'm assuming they're the same dialogue, they are. I've got two of the purples, I could make it purple. Is it one colour? No. It will be different colours. Each uh, square will be different colours, but the border will be one colours. Uh, you like the cream too. And I usually do the cream and I'm thinking, let's change it up. Let's try something different. In the past, I've done a cream border, a red border, a blue border, I oh, can't remember now, a green border, my brain is shutting down. I've never done a purple border. Um, I don't know if I'll do the purple yet. It's actually kind of like a lilac. It's a light purple, very light purple. And up there we've got your peach. Uh, we've got like a, a gold colour. We've got a dark purple. We've got the blues, the two different types of blues, normal colour blue, navy blue, oh, or this colour blue as well as navy blue um hello hello i hope you are well granny d thompson i hope you're well um so we've got quite a few colors i've got some more over there that i can't even remember oh yeah i've got yellow i've got like a beige so i did go out of my way and buy a few of them they were on special oh, i can't even remember now it was a while back i think it was just before christmas i don't know if they're on special now so i can't i'm not going to advertise them being on special or anything uh but they were before christmas um uh, I'm late, but was that the store snowing bad here? Oh, who is that? Kathy? Hello, Kathy. Uh, doing fab in the States, North Carolina. Okay. All right, look, guys, um, for those of you coming late, I do apologize. The giveaway is over. Uh -huh. But don't stress, you still have time to win the giveaway from yesterday's video. I keep telling everyone that it's giving everyone an opportunity to uh, win. So yesterday's video has 10 questions. You have 10 opportunities to win the giveaway as well. In the meantime, I'm going to add just the answers of, not the answers, I'm just going to add the names of the people who have won today. Uh, okay, as soon as I finish it, I'll pop. Oh, you can if you want to, Danette. It's no, no stress if you don't, but I'd love to see it. It's great. 
Uh, winner of number one was Kaz Ozzy. I can't remember the rest of her name, but I do know it, so I will speak to her later. Winner number two was Raylene, one of our regulars as well. Winner number three was Denise, one of our regulars as well. Winner number four was Juanita, beautiful name that I love. Uh, winner number five was The Richard, one of The Richards. <laughs> I can say that now. Uh, winner number six was Katie Hahn. Winner number seven was uh, Franca. You can get out of the naughty corner, Leander. Franca. Winner number eight was Jody Mann. So we have uh, eight winners and only got eight packs wrapped for two reasons. I was going to do ten. Two reasons why I did eight. One, I ran out of paper. <laughs> that was one reason. But the other reason was I was so tired from running up and down with boxes in my hands. But that's why I said, and I knew it would happen, so I said we'll do a mid-year uh, giveaway in July and I've called it um, Christmas in July and I really do have something in this eye oh my gosh it's driving me back um, and we have Christmas in July so part this is actually part two part one is yesterday's part two is today and part three if you want to call it part three will be mid-year in July Christmas in July de-stashing giveaway and that's what I'm calling it so there you go um and to answer one of the questions from yesterday's video, maybe it's one of the answers. I don't know. See, that's why I tell people, all the answers will be in this week's videos. You can't go wrong. Every answer to these 18 questions that you've had, 8 today, 10 yesterday, which are still going, will be in this week's video. So if you're new to this channel, you can still win the giveaways for yesterday. Oh, I can't wait to do that one. I like that one because... Maybe I shouldn't do the Tim Tam slam. Maybe I should get my son or someone else to do it. What do you reckon? I'll get my daughter to do it. She's there or my son. My daughter doesn't come around. Very, she's very busy. Do you have Facebook group or just a Wow Crochet page? At this stage, it's just Wow Crochet page. I was considering in the future doing a Facebook group, um, but I haven't decided yet. This stage is just a Wow Crochet page. For now. For now. Um, maybe we'll get my son to do it if he's home. I'll get him to do a Tim Tam. He won't want to do it. If I ask him, if I tell him to do it and just hide the camera behind the shelf. <laughs> He'll say, no videoing. <laughs> uh, do you, okay. Handmaid says, hi, handmaid, welcome. Um, we could do that. We could do that. We'll get him, shall we get him to do it, guys? Shall I encourage him to do it? What do you reckon? <laughs> shall I encourage my son to do the Tim Tam slam for me? Uh, well, Crochet, Facebook, Instagram, and here. That's correct, Franca. You have got it right on the dot there, or the X marks spot. spot. We have Well Crochet on Facebook, we have it on Instagram, and we have it on YouTube. And I'm not supposed to spill the beans yet, because it hasn't happened. But it's definitely this close. And I say that all the time. We will have a website. And on that website, you will be seeing all of the written patterns slowly not all at once <laughs> uh coming up on the website as well as the youtube tutorials um so there you go okay what are we saying just want to see everyone else's completed projects uh you will uh spill them there it's well well it is the website and it is coming and when i say it is coming it's all written up it's all roaring and ready to go i just need to add the patterns <laughs> it's my fault so not my daughter's. She's saying, come on, mum, where are the patterns? So and she uses that angry. No, she doesn't. She's a good girl. She doesn't yell at me. She's very gentle and kind and soft and sweet. Unlike her mother. <laughs> uh, by the way, can you design your C2C? I will. I will. I will design it myself. Thank you for asking. Uh, and I haven't decided what we're going to make. Whether it'll be a blanket whether it'll be the top, whether it'll be, I don't know, a scarf. A scarf would be nice. Um, what would you like to see? Frank, I'd like to do a scarf myself. But, um, hey, it doesn't have to be corner to corner. Granny Stitch, it can be corner to corner something else. So maybe we can do a scarf or something, corner to corner-ish. Uh, blanket, scarf, blanket and scarf. Geez, you're fussy. <laughs> I'll do what I can. I've got the hands on the hips. I've got the angry voice. <laughs> no, it's not angry. Not much. Not today. Not today. We're in a good mood today. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but you said blanket and. You want two. You're very fussy. 
<laughs> Get in the naughty corner. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So I will be doing something with a corner to corner look using a different stitch. And that will be coming up. When did I say it's coming up? Let me check. Does anyone know that one? <laughs> that's not a question too. A prize. Uh, I said, and I've got your name here, subscriber, subscriber, where are you? Franca, it's coming up in May. So Franca's C2C using a different stitch is coming up in May. And she says, get that purple. <laughs> you want me to use purple? You know what? Would you like me to do it in purple, Franca? I'd be happy to do it in purple if you want it done in purple. Look, see how we make decisions on the spot. This is what gets me into trouble. Put that little foot in that big mouth. <laughs> uh, Franca, twice today. Naughty God, I know, right? She's, she's on a roll. <laughs> yes, we'll do it in purple. And my hexagon bag. And your hexagon bag, Angela, is coming. <clears throat> and actually, you know what I've done? When I've written it up so that, you know, Angela, by the way, your bag is coming in March. So your bag's coming a little bit sooner. Um, and what I've done was I've written everything up in blue. And when... Someone asks for something, I write it up in orange. Um, orange. Let's try red. Hello, Mary. Colorblind or what? Um, <laughs> I write it up in red so that I can see it straight away what month we're doing your project. Pretty cool, huh? Um, purple is your favorite color, is it, Little Creek? That's nice. Uh, I'm so excited. She's excited now. Uh, hello. Diane says hello. I think we, did we say hello before or did I, not, did I miss it? Or did you just come in? I think too many people have come on today. I'm totally confused. So, yeah, Angela's uh, hexagon bag will be coming in March. And Franca's corner-to-corner -corner different stitch will be coming in May. Are you sure that's water? <laughs> Richard, all I could say is I wish it wasn't. But I have to drink the water. Apparently, it's supposed to be, like I don't know, good for you. <laughs> or something along those lines, you know. That goodness stuff. <laughs> See, the, pump, the reason I'm this big is because I forgot to do the goodness stuff. <laughs> and I focused all on the yummy foods, the lovely drinks, and the sitting on the dairy air. <laughs> Have you done a tutorial on market bags? I haven't, Kerry. It is on my brain. I haven't thought about that. It's not even in my list to do this year. These are the things that happen during the year that I accidentally pop in and puts me behind. <laughs> <coughs> This year's going to be fun. Yes, it is, Paula. We've got a lot of a lot of work there. Uh, invent a stitch, Mary. Oh, invent one. Oh, that could be difficult. Uh, you had fun then. I did, but it was, I was not real fun because I spent a lot of time just crocheting. <laughs> well, that was fun for me, but a lot of people wouldn't find that fun. So, duties to them. <laughs> How many tutorials do you have? Oh, on the the site here, I couldn't tell you offhand. I'd have to go and uh, oh. I literally would have to go and um, count them all up. I actually, I'm, I'm pretty bad like that. I don't do the numbers side of things. I leave that up to my daughter. She sort of does the business side of things. I don't do any of that. Um, guess. Well, I couldn't guess. I've been on the channel for three years. So, mm, I don't know. Two, five, hundred, who knows? Three, one, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, the last year put me off because last year, <coughs> the horrible year that we had, um, I just kept pumping out as many tutorials as I could so that people could have something to do while they were home. And here in Melbourne, we were home for like four months straight. And I'm going to tell you, that was not a pretty time for us. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, my orange tabby cat. Oh, I missed that. What was that? Then it says her orange tabby cat, Tiger Bob, says hi. Hi, Tiger. Hi, Bob. Well, I'm an animal person, so you're talking to the right person. Oh, I love my animals. And for those of you who didn't know, if you're joining us new, my son has a bird-eating spider in our home. What? He does. And we've had it for, I don't know, 10 years? I don't even know, 11 years? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Stanley is his name. Bob, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. You're joining us a little bit late, but hello. Uh, birds. <laughs> Don't think they eat the birds, though. Uh, nope, 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 Katie says. 
You made it, honey, but we're late. It's done. It's all done and dusted. But I tell you what, you still haven't missed out on giveaways uh, because we're still doing our giveaway yesterday, which I think you may, I don't know if you've answered any. I'm um, still at home. I have appreciated all of the lovely projects. Oh, Denise. Oh. <laughs> I watched a replay, yeah. It was, uh, there were some tricky questions and there were some easy questions. Like I was talking about what my favourite project of the year last year. I did some amazing projects, some really fancy stuff. But my favourite project was this gorgeous little tea cosy. I still haven't picked something else. I just love it so much. Um, I don't know if it's because it's granny, square related. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Say it with Squishy says, uh, pulled an all-nighter, so back to bed. Oh, good night, say it with Squishy. I hope you feel better soon. No more pulling all-nighters. <laughs> uh, I'm making your blanket. Oh, which blanket are you making, honey? <clears throat> we've, we've done quite a few. <laughs> and this year I say, look, honestly, I better take this drink first because my throat is really, oh. I have a list of all the projects we're going to do this year. I also have a list, and I've done the video of all the projects we're going to do this year. Uh, oh, my husband likes that teapot cosy, does he? We do have a tutorial here. So it's called the Tea Cozy Tutorial. I'm pretty sure we might have it under, uh, oh, I don't know, Crochet for the Home. If you like, once this, again, once this live is over, I'll pop a link in a description box down below of the Tea Cozy. Just go into the description box and click on the links it'll have tea cozy and then the link uh, it'll have uh, the Rastaman vibrations poncho and then the link so and I might even have guy up there see guy oh say hello to guy everybody uh, guy was made um, the head of guy was made by my sister and his little gown part was made by myself uh, I did hair though I did a really bad job on cutting his hair so there you go uh, I'm doing yesterday so far I'm lucky enough to win remember there is two Richards now. I'm going to have to keep my eye on that, Richard. I really am because that poor other Richard, I don't want him to lose if he's entered yesterday's. Did you enter yesterday's? I'm, you are doing yesterday's. Oh, you said you are doing it. But that, Richard, you can't win anything from yesterday now because you won from today. Sorry, honey. Um, I may have to make it for him now. <laughs> he is watching me. Oh, that's cute. Kaleidoscope blanket's a good one. I love it. Uh, we're still home in California since March. Holy macaroni. Wow. That's a long time. That's a long time. Oh, my gosh. So I've kept you busy since March, have I? Uh, Richard from Norfolk. I don't know where he's from. We'll work it out. Bye-bye, Richard. Uh, thank you so much, Mary. I will Facebook message you. Thank you so much. That's great. Uh, you make sure it's a private message, yeah? Uh, my two dogs and cat are rescues. And make sure you're messaging the right person, yeah? <laughs> you'll know our page because you'll see our projects on there, lots of pictures of our projects, uh, of my projects. You'll see my face there often because I put a lot of videos up. Uh, uh, I've been crocheting since I was 12 and I'm 40. Oh, that's nice. You've been crocheting a long time too, Danette. So there you go. Lots of people have been crocheting a long time. I've been crocheting for 100 years now. I think I'm tired, but I'm still going to keep going. The only time I will stop crocheting is when the hands fall off, <laughs> which well, I'm going. It may happen this year. <laughs> We're going like this. I'm like, flop. Look at the flop. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I might actually close up now. Uh, but don't forget, guys, we will be doing, remember what we're doing this week. We are doing the interview on Monday. Um, we are going, Franca. We're all going. <laughs> I'm making your cushion. Oh, thanks, Renuka. Enjoy. Um, the interview Monday, we're doing the heart on Tuesday, we're doing the swatch on Thursday, and we're doing maybe the swatch or the interview video on Friday. And you know, with my uh, day in the life of Mary, that sort of thing, that may pop up any now, any, any now, any time now, it may pop up any time, it may pop up next week, it may pop up this week, it may pop up whenever I finish doing the video, shh. <laughs> congratulations to all the winners thank you so much for entering and also um thank you to the lovely ladies who did do super chat today uh and i will keep in mind that we have two richards now make sure i'm sending it to the right richard hello um and thank you so much for joining me guys and as i say at the end of the every um uh live i'm going to try do this again let's see if it works Ta -da! i did it there it goes Ta -da! <laughs> Ciao for now. Bye all. Have a good week and I'll see you soon. Bye.